So the other day, and I was cruising on Instagram, because I go there frequently, and then I saw this video by, uh, I don't really know how I should categorize her. Should call her an Instagram model? Or a thought? I don't know. So I saw this video from Brittany Renner, and uh, I just want you guys to, you guys can watch it first, and then we'll discuss it. I want to know my body count. I don't know why in like 2018, that's any of your fucking business, or why it matters, but 24. 11 athletes. <laughs> Woo! Five entertainers. Woo! Eight regular guys. Woo! I've only fucked three regular guys since I've been Instagram famous because a lot of y'all run your fucking mouths too much. I don't want to be sending you a video one minute, the next minute. I see me spread eagle all the timeline playing with my pussy. In my experience, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> I don't like talking about my history with men I'm dating, I guess until now, because most of the guys that I've dealt with are going to have more money than you. And you're going to feel a way about it. I know the male ego is fragile, like the ball sack that hangs in between your legs. In conclusion, like I don't even look at people as like trashy or not. It all comes down to mentality for me. You know... There's a couple of things that are uh, peculiar, I wouldn't say peculiar, that strike me as wrong in this video. I think the first thing I'm going to talk about before I really kind of get into it, like, what actually occurred here, was, like, I think that there are just some things that some people just don't need to know. And I think a lot of people, Brady Ritter just being the current example here, who just kind of put way too much on the internet, like... I, there are some things that you can just kind of keep to your chest. There's like a lot of people who really want to, you know, be real on the internet for whatever odd reason. And I, I kind of get that. You know, I can understand you know, like being authentic and, and being honest to, to earn people's trust. Like, really, I get that. But sometimes there's just a little too much you can do in order to gain that. There are some things that you, you should just kind of keep close to the chest that, that, like, regular people, you don't know. They don't really need to know because... They don't really stand to gain anything from it. You don't really stand to gain anything from it either. I mean, like, for example, like this, like, uh, here's the thing that I've never really mentioned in any video of mine, but um, I'm a huge fan of, of, of Japanese cartoons, otherwise known as, as anime. And I like reading manga, and I actually just write, like, like reading comic books in general. Uh, and I just like reading, like, regular books, too, with, like, words in it, you know? And I don't really make a, I don't, I've never made a video where I just kind of discuss how much I enjoy these mediums or anything like that. Or, or for example, I really like isekai manga. Uh, it, for those of you who don't know, isekai just kind of means like another world where like the main character gets sucked into maybe an alternate dimension or some medieval fantasy. I really like that stuff. Um, and this is something you know, I just enjoy in my free time. I don't make tweets about it. I don't talk to people about it. I just, you know, I like it. You know, I, I also like Simpho Gear. That's another anime that the main characters are a bunch of, of cute girls. And I don't, I've never really made a point to say all that, and the point is, there's just some things that you should really like keep to your to your chest to yourself, because the other the world doesn't need to know. And I think that this, more than anything, like keep in mind the examples I use, my friends. I'm just talking about anime, and I'm not particularly embarrassed by it. I, I just have never really found much of a reason to deliberate the information. Here we have a woman deciding to tell people that she's never met on the internet that I've had sex with 24 guys. Most of which have actually have been high-end men like athletes and entertainers or whatever. How does anyone stand to benefit from getting that information? So I would imagine that actually speaking about it in particular, I think the point of her deliberating this information is one, her trying to keep it real on the internet. Why? I'm not really sure. Um, but two, I think more than anything is probably, I would imagine the more subconscious text here, is to try to make uh, being a slut an okay thing, or making being a promiscuous woman as, as an alright thing. Kind of like the whole slut walk thing. And I'm going to make another video talking about the slut walk, which will reiterate the point I'm making today. But I'm going to focus more on this video because it's really blatant, right? I've noticed this with some women lately. And that is, they seem to think that them being able to have sex a lot with a lot of men, particularly like high-status men, like is a point of pride for them or is, is, a, is an accolade for them and it really isn't um, especially in Brittany Renner's case in particular I want you guys to notice something in the video that she said at one point she says something to throw shade at the athletes and she calls them really dumb because they don't use condoms and then I thought all for but one second 
Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, man, but uh, you were in that whole situation as well with uh, that man, too. And if he wasn't using a condom and you two were having sex together, that means that uh, you did not do anything about that particular scenario. Uh, in other words, you I just find it strange if she's calling these athletes dumb for not using condom when... When she was there too, nigga, like, why, why didn't you reinforce these niggas to use a condom then? Like, like, how do you besmirch these guys for being dumb and not using condom when, when you were there too, nigga? You weren't just there, you were the one having sex. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here, folks? What I'm saying here is she's trying to throw shade at these men to look like she's in a, like, higher place or something when, like, she's actually kind of worse because, like, she's the one that can get pregnant and you would think that if anyone would have an active invested interest in their womb, it would be the woman in question, but... Yeah, I just find it like it has to be double stupid for her or at least double negligence on her part if she's the one that can get pregnant and she's not the one reinforcing the lack of a condom there. I mean, what, did she look at the situation and be like, nah, fuck it, I'll just take this pregnancy on the chin. I'm mean, like, come on, man. But anyway, more to the point of what I'm talking about here. I've noticed this with some women, getting back to my earlier point. I just wanted to talk about her negligence there because... I, I just don't really see how she can speak in a position of power or like a higher like position from these guys and call them dumb when, when like she would have been equally as stupid if not more so because it's her body, but I digress. I just find it interesting that a lot of these women seem to think that like having sex with like rappers or like higher echelon men like makes them special or, or anything like that because like it really doesn't. I, I don't think a lot of women realize this about men. Like women... The women rate men, like, like easily based on, like, what they do, how much money they have, and status. Like, for women, there's a clear hierarchy. For men, there is no hierarchy. There's just preferences. <laughs> there, there is no one woman higher than the other woman. There's no one woman better. It's just a woman. It's just, I'd rather be with that woman, or I'd rather be with that woman. That woman's tall. I'm shorter than her. Eh, probably not a good idea. That woman short, let's go with her. That's what it is. Like with men, men don't care about women's social status. Men don't care about the money women have, their job occupation. Men don't care. A man could find a woman on the street in a cardboard box. And if she was pretty enough, well, she won't be homeless anymore. <laughs> that's that's how men work with women. Men like women. Women, on the other hand, like the social status and the things that they can get from men. This is something I've been saying for years now. But I've noticed that women try to use this as a way to uh, give them social proof. It, they use it as a way to try to puff up their chest and make them look better than what they are. And for Brittany Renner, this actually makes sense. Because Brittany Renner was not always a very attractive young lady. Okay, well, in my opinion, I always thought she was fine, but like she was on the pudgier side, right? And it's very obvious to me that now that she's more attractive, that she's really enjoying the fruits of her labor or the, the fruits of being an attractive woman that has a social media gathering it's very obvious to me and it's not really that like she's going like like she's only like some kind of hoe and just getting money from guys and whatnot like she does like have other things and other options for her to make her own money and that's okay and that's cool and everything but that's not really what she's using to gain social proof you've noticed again the social proof that she's using here is the fact that she had sex with these athletes and these entertainers and for a woman, and for Brittany Renner in particular, I get that. Because when you're an unattractive woman, well, I don't think she was unattractive, but she probably did. When you're an unattractive woman, you probably aren't getting a lot of attention from guys. So when you become attractive, or let me lose weight, it would make sense that you would feel better about yourself because now you're getting attention, not only just from men, but higher tier men who are giving you lots of things and have lots of money. And I, and I really do get that. The only problem is, as a woman... You have to understand that there really is no difference between you and and some woman that works at Denny's. Like, you really have to take this into consideration. Like, even if you're a higher-end woman that has your own fitness app or your own company or you're doing all these different socialite events, you are not any different from any woman that works at a cash register and that has a big butt. Because you, they're still women. Like, any rapper who's, like, had sex with you would probably have sex with... I don't know, some chick that works at the auto store parts. I mean, you know, I again, there's no difference. And and that might, so I don't even think it sucks to say. I just, it's just kind of the reality of the situation. It's just very strange or it just kind of makes no sense for any woman to deliver any sense of pride from having lots of sex with men because one, you didn't really do anything anyway other than appear and then show up. So like, 
Like, you didn't put any effort, so there's no real logical sense you'd have any pride. But two, there's really no reason to have any pride because there really isn't anything that made you special from any other woman than just the fact that you were present at the time. And that's just, that's, that's the only difference between you and some chick that works at IHOP. You were there and she was at work or at home or reading a book or something. I mean, you can't really, and another reason why I don't really think that you can be like a proud slut at all is again, remember the whole negligence thing I was uh, talking about earlier. Like, this this kind of, this really gets to me, man. This really gets to me just a, just a little bit of bet. Because like, again, you, you have a womb. Like, if you're a woman, like, think about this. You would think that if anyone was worried about getting pregnant, if anyone was worried about any problems happening, it would be, well, said woman. To be able to sit here and say that, yeah, I had sex with these different athletes and they didn't use condoms. I mean, what does that say about you? It shows that you don't seem to value your womb enough to protect it. So that's not really even a bite against them. More so it's a bite against you. It's a double bite against you because it's revealing how you feel about yourself. And even if you're on birth control, there's still all manners of STDs that you could be introducing yourself to because... I doubt you ask every nigga you have a one night stand with to show you his uh, horror facts or whatever. I don't know. The point is, my friends, here's the thing that I'm trying to say with this video. As a woman, it really doesn't make any sense to try to use your, your count as a form of social proof. For men, while I disagree and don't care, at least I can understand where they're coming from. Because trying to court women is a difficult thing to do. I, I, I get that. It takes some effort to court a woman. I mean, if you try to build a business, also you become a higher tier man, you still have to run the business. I mean, you know, you don't just become a CEO and then just stop working, you know what I mean? Oh, well, some people are like that, but that's not here or that. The point is, to, ge become, to become a higher echelon man, you have to do something. Even if it's exercising, even the exercise that men do to become business models is still a lot more than what women do, usually. I mean, there are some women that, like, really put in a lot of work, and, and they're different. But um, usually, like, Brittany Renner is not one of those women. Like, she obviously works out a lot, but she's, she's not Gregory O'Gallagher, you know what I mean? Like, she's not one of these, like, intermittent fasting guys. The point that I'm making is that as a man, when it comes to courting women, it's something that takes a degree of uh, sometimes skill, but effort. More than anything, it does take effort. For a woman, you just kind of have to show up. You can't really besmirch these guys if like you are also equally as negligent. You can't use these guys as a form of social proof because there's nothing really of value between you that separates you from, again, any other woman that has a big butt. And if that's your only thing, and that's the only claim that you have, then... You really got to reevaluate like where your sense of self worth is coming from because I don't know I think there's a lot more things in life that you could that you could derive some sense of I don't know, confidence from I'm just saying so that being said man I just hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did man go and click the like button and shoot go and click that subscribe button comment in the comment box below as always you guys have yourselves a great day I'll see you cool cats soon adios.